Okay, uh, let's start this video. Uh, first, let's see the contents. Uh, I will start uh, with the explanation of uh, anaconda distribution uh, with a spider IDE. The spider IDE where you can write your uh, Python program. And then I will explain the PY uh, wavelet package of anaconda, uh, which includes uh, various functions because of which we, you can do the wavelet transform of your signal. Then I will explain the DWT, IDWT, WaveDeck, WaveRack, Python commands uh, uh, of this PY wavelet package with example codes. And then I will show you that uh, how you can do the discrete wavelet transform of an audio signal. Uh, before watching this video, I uh, recommend you to watch my previous video, uh, which is the introduction to the wavelet theory and its application so that you can have the better idea of the wavelet transform theory. So you will be able to understand this video in a better way. The link of this YouTube video is given in the description. Uh, let's see the Anaconda distribution. Uh, it's a package manager and environment which provides the easiest way to perform uh, your Python data science and machine learning on various uh, operating system platforms like Linux, Windows and Mac OX and uh, it's a free and very easy to install and it offers a community support also and there are more than 19 million users worldwide uh, of this Anaconda and it is an industry standard for the development, testing and the training and uh, you can download the Anaconda from this uh, link and this link is given in the description. Uh, with Anaconda, one can uh, quickly download more than 7,500 uh, various uh, Python packages. Uh, and uh, you can manage libraries and their dependencies and environments with the Anaconda. And you can develop and train various machine learning and deep learning models uh, with a scikit, with a TensorFlow, and Theano and uh, you can analyze your uh, scientific data with the scalability and performance with the DASK, NumPy, SciPy, Pandas and uh, Numba and uh, it has very powerful uh, data visualization libraries such as uh, Matplotlib, Bokeh, Data Shader and the Holoviews. Now the spider. Spider uh, is the IDE where you can write your uh, this Python program. So it's a very powerful scientific environment uh, uh, written in Python for Python and uh, designed by and for scientists and engineers and data analysts. It is uh, suitable for scientific computation and visualization and one very good thing is that it offers a MATLAB-like interface for the persons, those who are uh, working in the MATLAB environment uh, it will be very easy for them to migrate to the Python with the spider because spider creates that uh, very MATLAB similar window with all uh, the command prompt and the uh, workspace and the command histories. I will show you uh, in the example ahead. Uh, and also the spider comes with the Anaconda distribution so there is no need to download it and install it separately. For more information about the spider, you can go to its website. It is given in the description also. Now let's see the PY wavelet, uh, wavelet package, which is uh, the part of this Anaconda distribution. Uh, this is the package which includes various uh, uh, functions uh, by which you can do the wavelet transform, inverse wavelet transforms and many other things. Uh, it's a open source uh, software for Python and which uh, combines a simple high level interface with a low level C and Cython performance. Uh, it comes with Anaconda distribution so there is no need to download it and install it separately. And its dependencies are NumPy, SciPy and Matplotlib and fortunately all three are with Anaconda distribution. So there is no need to download separately. For more information, you can go to this uh, link uh, where you can read uh, its uh, documentation where uh, uh, all the functions which are 
the part of this uh, py wavelet library are explained and now let's see the dwt and idwt two functions which are actually the single level discrete wavelet transform and the inverse transform functions of this py wavelet package so i will explain them with one example code so this is my uh, program a uh, very small uh, program to do the wavelet transform uh, using this dwt command so first uh, in the python you need to import uh, this pywt uh, library and then define your signal x uh, it's a eight point signal and then uh, by executing this uh, dwt uh, function uh, you get the two uh, arrays ca and cd actually ca uh, will include all the approximation coefficients and cd will include all the detail coefficients of uh, wavelet transform and uh, in this function you need to pass your signal x and you need to define uh, your wavelet so here i have used the hard wavelet for the decomposition you can use other wavelets also the number of wavelets are uh, supported by this uh, dwt command like Dobichy, simlet coiflet and biorthogonal etc for more information you can uh, refer its uh, documentation and uh, if you want to do the inverse wavelet transform then you have to pass this ca and cd here in this idwt command and then define the type of wavelet so this idwt once executed will give you the signal y which is obviously the equivalent to the x so you can get your signal back from this approximation and uh, detail coefficients uh, to get the values of uh, these approximation detail coefficients and this reconstructed signal y uh, you can execute the sprint command and this is the output you will get so in the output you can see uh, these values of uh, uh, this is your ca this is your cd and this is your signal x and this is the reconstructed signal y so you can uh, match both x and y both are same so inverse transform is working well so let me jump to the python and uh, let me see that uh, how this program executes this is your spider ide and this program is already written so uh, let me press this uh, run button okay so this is your output so here uh, this is ca cd your input x and the reconstructed signal y and uh, uh, here you can if you compare uh, this window with the matlab you can see that uh, this variable explorer that all variables are here so that is very similar to your workspace in the matlab and this is your uh, ipython console and that is uh, similar to uh, the command prompt of MATLAB and here you can also see the history so that is the command history uh, which is similar to your uh, history of the MATLAB command so that's why I said and uh, uh, this uh, spider provides a very MATLAB like interface okay so let me uh, jump to my presentation uh, next, I will show you the uh, example of uh, using the wave deck and wave rec command. Uh, these are actually the multi-level discrete wavelet transform and inverse transform. Actually, uh, with the DWT and IWT, they are single level decomposition and reconstruction. So, suppose you want to do a three level uh, wavelet decomposition, then you have to execute the DWT three times. But with these commands, you need to execute only once you just need to specify the number of decomposition levels so this is the syntax of wave deck so in wave deck uh, you, here you can see that you need to define the level of decomposition suppose you define le level equal to three so that means uh, there will be the three decompositions of your signal uh, this x is your uh, input and uh, wavelet you need to define the which wavelet you want to use for decomposition and then mode uh, this is the signal extension mode which uh, uh, by default it's a symmetric uh, there are other modes also for example the constant and uh, uh, periodic etc 
for more detail you can refer the documentation actually the signal extension is uh, done uh, to deal with the border distortion problems okay so after executing this wave deck you get these uh, coefficients and you can see that uh, in this coefficients how the wavelet coefficients are arranged so uh, for example uh, if you are doing a let's say three level decomposition then uh, in this uh, coefficients you will get uh, ca3 and then cd3 then uh, it means approximation coefficients and uh, detail coefficients at level 3 and then all detail coefficients of the previous level that means cd2 and then cd1 okay so this i will explain in the more detail in the coming slide uh, now let's see this uh, inverse wavelet transform that is a wave rec you need to uh, pass all these uh, coefficients here and the name of the wavelet and then signal extension mode and then by executing this uh, you will get your signal back after the inverse wavelet transform so let's see uh, the uh, arrangement of the coefficient so uh, here i have uh, shown the example of uh, three level wavelet decomposition so this s is your signal at uh, first level uh, of decomposition the signal is uh, decompo decomposed in approximation coefficient and then detail coefficients and then ca1 is further decomposed at uh, level 2 to get approximation coefficient ca2 and detail coefficient cd2 and uh, ca2 is further decomposed to get ca3 and cad3 so after executing that uh, wave deck you get uh, all the coefficients arranged in this manner that means uh, first ca3 and then cd3 cd2 and cd1 so that is the arrangement pattern so now let me see uh, the use of this wave deck and wave rack with the one python example so this is uh, your example code first you need to import your library and then define the signal x which is a 16 sample long and then executing this uh, uh, wave deck right so you are passing the signal db1 defining the name of the wavelet and the level 2 that means you are doing a two level decomposition only and then signal extension mode is periodic so once you execute this you get the coefficients uh, where the coefficients are arranged like this ca2 cd2 and then cd1 as i explained before and then if you want to do do the inverse wavelet transform then you need to execute this wave rack so passing all these uh, coefficients uh, uh, here in this function then defining the name of the wavelet and then signal extension mode you you get the signal back okay so uh, this is why is your reconstructed signal and these are some print commands to see the values of ca2 cd2 cd1 and then reconstructed signal so this is output so uh, you can see the values of this approximation coefficient at level 2 uh, detail coefficients at level 2 and then uh, detail coefficients at level 1 and this is your reconstructed signal so you can compare this reconstructed signal with uh, your x so which is same 3711 minus 2 3711-2 and so on so let me see this uh, in the python that how this executes so this program is already written let me execute it so you can see this is the output in variable explorer as well as in uh, the cons console you can see uh, this output okay now uh, let me come to another example here i will show you that how you can uh, read uh, oh, an audio file which is a wave file lying on the computer and then doing the wavelet transform of this uh, audio signal so this is the example code for this purpose you need to import few more libraries like uh, one is the scipy.io from which you need to import the wave file this will be used to read and write your uh, audio data and then if you want to plot something then you need to import this uh, matplotlib and then numpy and then 
import this uh, wavelet py wavelet library. So your first command is for reading your uh, wave file. So this guitar dot wave, it's an audio file which is a wave file lying in the current directory. So once this wave file dot read is executed, the all samples will come into this uh, data, and then sample rate will come in this sample rate variable. Uh, this is uh, executed to actually the get the time in seconds from the samples. It is just used uh, for plotting purpose, uh, no specific use of it. And then normalizing the data, because uh, the audio data is read as uh, integer 16, so uh, that carries a very uh, large values. So normalizing this in the range of minus one to plus one, uh, we simply do this operation and then executing this uh, DWT command. So it's a single level discrete wave transform as I explained before. So this is your audio data and this is the uh, wavelet by orthogonal 6.8 I have used here and this is the signal extension mode periodic. So once you execute it, you get the approximation coefficients and the detailed coefficients at the first level of decomposition. And if you want to uh, do the inverse wavelet transform, you simply pass this uh, CD and CA here uh, in this IDWT and then uh, uh, specifying the name of wavelet and then signal extension mode. So you get your reconstructed signal Y, okay. Uh, these two commands I have written just to uh, create the wave file. You, as you can read the same, you can write uh, the wave file on a hard disk. So uh, first I have uh, uh, write this uh, reconstructed uh, audio file Y with the name guitar R okay, in the current directory and uh, I have created an audio file guitar CD dot wave. Uh, from the detail coefficients only, right? Uh, you need to define the sample rates also. And let's see the other part of the program. All these uh, commands are just for plotting, nothing specific here. Uh, this is uh, defining the figure size and then uh, using the subplot. That means the uh, subplot, uh, it, it, the syntax you can compare with the MATLAB, it is very similar to the MATLAB. Uh, where 411 means uh, four rows and one column. So that means there will be the four plots uh, uh, in one column. And so this is the first plot uh, where I am plotting the original signal with a black color. And then second plot is uh, I am plotting the approximation coefficients with the red color. And then in the third plot, uh, is the detail coefficients with a green color and then fourth plot uh, is a reconstructed signal Y uh, with a blue color. And uh, this command actually the save file uh, you can create uh, a, a PNG uh, plot, uh, PNG file, image file uh, of all these plots uh, with a required DPI for printing purpose in the current directory. So let me show you the output. So this is the output uh, uh, which is uh, because of the subplot command. Here you can see that all four plots are there in one column. So this is your uh, original signal. This is your approximation coefficients and these are the detailed coefficients and this is the reconstructed signal Y. So let me uh, show you this in uh, Python. So let me open the spider. So this program I have already written and uh, let me execute it. Okay, so this is executed. Uh, you can see the variables are created and uh, these are the approximation coefficients, detail coefficients and this is your input and sample rate is 11,025 samples per second and Y is your reconstructed signal. So since this data is long, you cannot visualize uh, with these uh, sample values here. Uh, there are thousands of values in one array. So the best thing is to get the plot, okay? So that's why I have used this uh, plot. So you can see all these uh, 
signals and approximation coefficients, detailed coefficients and uh, this reconstructed signal, right. So, now let me see that uh, we have used these uh, two commands, uh, one is uh, uh, writing uh, this uh, uh, web file with a name guitar R and guitar CD, that means writing, uh, creating the audio file with a Y and with the detail coefficient. So, let us see whether they are created in the current directories or not. So, let me jump to my directory and let me see, yeah. So, here you can see that uh, guitar R and guitar CD both uh, the audio files are created. So, let me first play this uh, guitar R which is created by the uh, uh, IDWT, okay. Okay, uh, this uh, was the file which was created by the uh, reconstructed signal Y and this is a guitar CD, the, this audio file is created by only the approx sorry, detail coefficients. So, let me listen this file. Okay, so you can uh, listen a very sharp sound because in detail coefficients the uh, approximation coefficients are missing uh, that means all the low frequency components are missing. So, you, you are listening only the very high frequency components in this guitar CD. So, this is all about this video. Thank you.